Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com and this is Mathy, my mascot and assistant. In this lesson we are going to study the coordinate grid for the first quadrant only. Now, this is a coordinate grid. It means a grid that has coordinates on it, a coordinate system on it, which means these numbers here and here, numbers running on both ways. And for each point on the grid here, we can give two numbers that will give its location then. And also, if you have two numbers, they will define some point somewhere. Okay? These two numbers are called the coordinates of that point. In the coordinate grid, we have one line running this way that is called the x-axis, and this vertically running line here is called the y-axis. Okay? And for example, point A here, has two numbers associated with it that are its coordinates. It has an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. And those two numbers are 4 and 3. When I am here at point A, I look down to the x-axis and I see 4 here. So 4 is its x-coordinate. And then this way, 3 is its y-coordinate. And I write it like this. 4, 3 and in parentheses. Okay? That's point A. Point B is over here, so to find its coordinates, I look down from point B towards the x-axis. It is 9, and then over here, 5. 9 and 5. So, we always write the x-coordinate first, and then the y-coordinate. Point C, way up there, just look first to the x-coordinate, x-axis here, 8. And then over here, 12. 8 and 12. Point D is actually on the y-axis itself, okay? But I use the same idea. I first get the x-coordinate by going from D down to the x-axis. It is 0, okay? And the y-coordinate, since it is already on the y-axis, the y-coordinate is right there, is 8. 0, 8. And point E is on the x-axis, okay? It is on the x-axis, I just look here, okay, it is 9, this way, and then I look here for the y-coordinate, which is 0, 9 and 0, okay? So that is how you can find the coordinates of these points. Now let's do the same thing the other way around. What's that, Matthew? My grid is crooked. <sighs> I know, I know, Matthew, it's crooked. I'm sorry about that. I got the second grid better, though. Did you notice that? Okay, let's just try to ignore that it's a little crooked and just go on with the lesson, can you? I think our viewers can, so I hope, Matthew, you can too, okay? Okay. Plot these points, 1, 7. The first one is the x-coordinate. What I do, I will travel on the x-axis to 1, over here, and then I will travel up 7 units. First travel on the x-axis to 1, then up 7 units, over here. This point is at 1, 7, okay? I could name it, I guess, point F. This would be G, H, and I. Point G. First travel to 7 on the x-axis, then go up 10 units. 7 here, then go up 10 units. Okay, here. G. Then H, 0, 6. First travel on the x-axis, 0 units. So don't go anywhere. Then 6 up. That is H. And then I, 3, 0. First travel on the x-axis, 3 units, then go 0 units up. Travel here, and then don't go up at all, so it is here, I. Draw a triangle with vertices at these three points. Then move the triangle 4 units up and 5 units to the left. Okay, I will first start here by drawing the vertices, and then I will connect them with line segments. First vertex is at 9, 1. I go on the x-axis, 9 units, and then 1 unit up. Over here to 9, and then 1 unit up. Then 11, 3. Go on the x-axis to 11, and then 3 units up. And lastly, 7, 5. Go to 7 here, and then 5 up. There, now we'll need a ruler. I'll connect this with a ruler.
there's my triangle. Now we're going to move the triangle in the coordinate grid according to this. 4 units up and 5 units to the left. What I will actually do is I will move each vertex that much and get 3 new vertices and then connect those. This one is the first point. It needs to move 4 units up and 5 to the left. So I'll just count here. 1, 2, 3, 4. This would be the point if it moved 4 units up. But then I also move it 5 units to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right there. Okay. Then this point in a similar way. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There. Now I connect those with line segments. There. Let me now write down the vertices of that new triangle. This one here, look down first, 4 and 5. Then this one, 6 and 7. And the last vertex is 2 and 9. I want to point out to you a neat relationship between these instructions and then these coordinates of the points. And that is, when it says move the triangle 4 units up, up here, up here means in the direction of the y-axis. Okay? And so, for each of these points, the y-coordinate increases by 4. This here is 1, and the y-coordinate is 1, here it is 5. Okay? Here it is 3 and 7. It increased by 4. And here, 5 and 9. And for the x-coordinate, it said move 5 units to the left, this way. So that's in the direction of the x-axis, but backwards. So the x-coordinate gets reduced, gets smaller by 5. So the x-coordinate here and here, it is 9 minus 5 is 4. Here 11, take away 5, is 6. And 7, take away 5, is 2. Okay, I hope this was helpful.